All right, today I'm back with my second free mug rug pattern. So this one is really actually quite similar to the moss stitch. It's called an eyelet, um, and I will show you how to do it. So today I've got blue, because why not? We're going to start, um, the other one we started with a chain of 24. This time we're going to start with 22. And we're going to single crochet in the second chain from the hook instead of the fourth. So one, two. Now this is going to start basically the same way as the other one from here. We're going to skip, skip a stitch and single crochet in the next one. So I'm going to chain one for my skipped stitch, single crochet in the next one. Chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next one, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet in the next one, chain one, skip a stitch, single crochet. We'll do that all the way across. All right, so again, if you started with an even number, you should end up with a single crochet in your very last stitch. So we'll chain one, and this does not count as my starting single crochet. Now I'm going to single crochet in my single crochet from the previous row, then chain one. Single crochet in my single crochet, and chain one. So the difference here, in moss stitch, we went in the chain one space. For eyelet, we're going in the single crochet stitch. That's the only difference, otherwise they are exactly the same. It's always a single crochet, chain one. I'm just working into the single crochets on the previous row. And they look pretty similar when they're done too. This eyelet kind of pattern you can do actually with like double crochet, half double crochet, whatever you want also. Um, and the holes will not quite be eyelets, they'll be bigger holes, but you can do it. And then a single crochet and then a last single crochet. Now the, the other difference, so we're going working into the single crochets instead of the chain one spaces, and we're also starting with a single crochet. So the chain one that doesn't count, single crochet in the previous single crochet. And then chain one, single crochet, chain one, all the way across. And then this actually stands up a little bit taller than Moss Stitch does because we're working into the single crochet instead of the chain one space. And so I only had to do 22 rows instead of 23 to get the same length, but it, I mean, it's almost exactly the same size wise. So we're just going to keep doing this pattern for 22 rows until you are the right length. And of course, it's always up to you to change the pattern however you want to. If you want to make it bigger, you can add stitches, you can add rows, whatever you want to do, it is your project. 22 rows, and this is the eyelet instead of the moss stitch. So it looks a little bit different, but they're pretty similar. So now it's time for me to attach my fringe. If you watched the last video, then I do this in exactly the same way, except instead of going through chain one spaces, I'm going through the actual single crochets because that's what's going to be on the end and I want the fringe to be on both ends also. So I'm going to start the same way. I'm going to get strands of my yarn and I'm still going to do each section of fringe being two strands long. So that's enough for my demo. Now I'll take two strands, 
and if you wanted to do it three or one or whatever, it's always fine. You modify your project however you want. Okay, so I'm gonna go in each single crochet, so I'm gonna start in the very end. And again, if you have a preference for which side is the front or the back, um, start it with the back side up. And in, in this case, I don't really care, but uh, I'm gonna insert my hook through that single crochet. I'll grab my two strands of yarn with my hook and pull them through. Now I'm gonna pull these four strands through the loop and tighten it up. I also usually will pull when I'm working on the very corner where the yarn tail is. I'll just pull that yarn tail through so I don't have to weave in the ends because it'll just be part of the fringe. Okay, so I'm gonna tighten it up by pulling on each of these little strands. I don't have to pull on this one because that's... Oh, I did not make it go through properly. Did I? I want you to come through this way. Okay. So now that's going through. Okay. And then I'll do the next one with, again, two strands. And through the single crochet. pull it through the loop and I'll tighten it up. I always hold it when I tighten it so that it doesn't pull my stitches all crazy because sometimes it just stretches it. Okay and then I will just do this all the way across the side and then the same thing across the other side so they match and then when I'm done with all of them I will take my scissors and trim these to whatever length I want. I always have the tendency to trim a little and then realize I made it crooked and then trim a little more and pretty soon they're super short or just totally lopsided, but hopefully you don't have that problem. If you do have that problem and you want to solve it, you can use like a sewing mat and a rotary cutter and it makes it nice and straight, but I didn't do that. Okay, I hope you like this tutorial. So when you're done, it'll look kind of like this. You'll have all of these little loops of fringe, make it really cute. So don't forget to subscribe, stay tuned for next week. I've got one more mug rug pattern, which is this diagonal one. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest updates. Happy crochet.